On the internet, people come and people go. Today, I'll be talking about one of the many internet anomalies who bless the landscape with content. Excuse me. What's up? What are we doing here? In 2014, eight videos were uploaded to YouTube under the channel Surveillance Cameraman. In these videos, we never see the cameraman, but he walks up to unsuspecting people out in public and records them. And that's it. That's the premise of the videos. Why, man? Why? Why not? In these videos, there's the attempt to pose the philosophical question of people being filmed every time they enter stores, and that's okay, so why is it a problem when there's a man behind the camera? I personally think the videos were made just to be funny. I think he's just trolling people, it's content. I think he was just trying to be funny, and I don't think that question is really meant to be taken seriously. Something wrong? What the fuck are you doing? These videos stayed pretty underground throughout their time, albeit they were popular underground where they were. After 2014, Surveillance Cameraman never uploaded another video again. You got a problem with him? Erase that shit. Bro, erase that shit, dog. Erase that shit right now, bro. I never had somebody take that much interest in me before. In December 2017, the Vagrant Holiday Channel was created. The Vagrant Holiday Channel was a travel channel that consisted of traveling without spending anything on accommodation. He would sleep in parks and forests, abandoned houses, under bridges, anywhere, as long as he didn't have to pay for the accommodation. It was honestly pretty impressive. He would spend a month in Europe and only end up spending around a thousand US dollars, which is pretty insane, while also traveling around Europe and going to multiple different countries and cities and having a good time. So not all the videos uploaded to this channel were about traveling. Some of them were essentially gonzo journalism to the extreme. Specifically regarding the video where Vagrant Holiday takes a trip to the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone during the Portland riots. I can't even lift it. People are shopping. <laughs> oh, fuck. Alright, well, I don't really care too much about old Navy, so I'm gonna get out of here. Or the video where he went train hopping and was actually caught by the conductor under the train. Shit. Guy just got on the car right behind mine. So just like the surveillance cameraman videos, we never see the main character here. We do hear from him quite a lot though, and he's pretty funny. He has a very monotone voice, whole lot of sarcasm, and he's very real. He's a very real guy. He's not trying too hard. He doesn't really care. He makes that obvious. He really doesn't care. This is all a side project, and he's making the videos purely as a hobby. These videos were honestly a breath of fresh air for YouTube at this time. Now I like Bald and Bankrupt, Harold, all of them, all the other other travel guys. They're funny, they're interesting, but something about Vagrant Holiday is interesting. Knowing that he's breaking petty vagrancy laws is, it adds a little bit of flair to the videos. In some of these videos where he goes to these very touristy packed areas, he gets hassled by the scammers and salesmen, and it's pretty funny. There's actually more junk peddlers in here than people who are trying to look at the place. Well, I, I don't need it, man. Sorry, I, I don't know what to tell you. I have, have it to the other and the... Not expensive. So I wouldn't even, know what, to, I wouldn't even know what to do with it, man. I don't need that thing. Ah, oh, fucking annoying. This is a common scam. Everybody betting money is working with the guy behind the cups. What? Why? You go. Go. Go away from me. No, no, go, no. Go away from me. Go away. Go. 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 Get away from me. Get, get away from me. Don't, hey, hey, don't touch me, man. Don't touch me. Hey, get away from me. All right, fuck off. Thanks. <laughs>
The main character in these videos was strikingly similar to surveillance cameraman even though we never actually see his face. From what we see of his clothes, he has the same exact style, he has the same monotone voice, and it's looking very likely that this is the same guy, although there's been no confirmation up to this point. During a trip to a restricted sex offender island, and no, not that one, Bigger Holiday dropped something on the viewers that was always suspected. Huh. Just taking a video? I doubt that. So this basically confirms his identity and Vagrant Holiday is surveillance cameraman. The Messiah has returned, here to bless YouTube with some real content. The Vagrant Holiday series was very, very entertaining while it lasted, but good things never last forever. Unfortunately, some dude with a machete in Mexico had to ruin it all for the rest of us. There's a lot more I wanted to say about Mexico, but it's kind of hard to do when some bastard pulls up next to you on a motorcycle and threatens you with a machete. Yeah. I got fucking robbed. After this experience, there was never another upload to the Vagrant Holiday channel. It's pretty understandable why, being that this was just a side project, being that he really doesn't care about views or anything like that at all, it's pretty understandable that he would stop after being robbed. It's rare that the internet is blessed with real content like this, and we need to be thankful that it happened and not sad that it's gone. Just pray one day that the man behind this channel comes back and he can continue either one of these series and I think we'll be happy.